Hi, my name is Tabitha Owanda and I created Interstem. Interstem is a channel that I created to share the conversations that I had with other people in STEM because I grew from having constructive conversations because I feel like I can make more informed decisions in my area of study and so I wanted to have more people um, have access to such opportunities and while I'm spending my summer in Nairobi I want to highlight some of the initiatives that have been uh, made by Africans in STEM to promote STEM in Africa and also want to highlight some of the opportunities open to people in STEM who are African. And that's exactly what I'll be doing in today's video. I'll be talking about scholarships that are open to African women in STEM. When I say open, I don't mean they're specifically tailored to African women in STEM. I just mean that African women pursuing science, tech, engineering, or math can apply for these scholarships and study in the universities of choice. Um, I study abroad, I study in Massachusetts, and that came with um, an added <laughs> expense because you know, you're know not living at home, there's this airfare, there's like tuition. So um, in my first school I got 50 something percent uh, off as a scholarship and that was pretty nice because it allowed my parents to comfortably fund my entire uh, first year tuition but I decided to transfer schools and my second school didn't give me um, as large of a package of financial aid as my first school and so that led to some complications because you've got to find the money somewhere so there are a lot of external organizations that give money to deserving scholars and as i've been doing my research on where to get scholarships i came across a number of scholarships that are open to african women in stem and i feel like i need to share this with um some of the african women watching this video so that you know where to go or what to apply for in case you choose to study abroad financial constraints should not be a determining factor of whether you choose to pursue um, your higher education in a certain place, especially if you're well prepared with the information beforehand. So I hope this video is informative and helpful and all the links to all the different uh, scholarships I talk about will be in the description box. So do look at them. If the deadline has passed, you could always apply the next year. I made sure that all the scholarships I talk about are annual. That means applications open every year for a new group of scholars to apply. So let's start with the first one. The first one is Google Women Tech Maker Scholarship Program. Um, it's open to women from Europe, Middle East and Africa. Um, it's open to women pursuing tech related fields, i.e. computer science, software engineering, uh, data science, etc. etc. Um, it caters for bachelor's, master's and PhD uh, degrees, so it's it's full range, which is pretty good. And here's the value of the scholarship. It's 7,000 euros or its equivalent, which when I checked yesterday is 7,862 US dollars. That's, that's pretty good. Um, all scholarship recipients will be invited to attend the annual Women Tech Maker Scholars Retreat, uh, where they get to connect with other scholars and network with Google mentors and participate in a couple of workshops. So that's an add-on to the money that you get. And then you also get professional development and community outreach opportunities, which um, continue to be offered even after the retreat. So there's monetary gain and you know there's a networking gain. And I think it's very important to be able to network with people because um, not only do you learn, but there's a number of opportunities opened up through such encounters. So the link to that will be in the description below. Um, I also want to mention that the scholarship is um, a, a one-time thing, meaning that if you get it this year, you're highly unlikely to get it for the other year and the other year or any other year. It's like a one-off. 
um, it's for students um, who are studying in the United States. So that's also something to consider if you want to apply to a school abroad, then this is in the United States, then this is for you. The second scholarship I want to talk about is the Science Ambassador Scholarship. So I don't know about um, you guys, but I played this game called Cards Against Humanity one time. I didn't even finish it, it was like a super crazy game. And Cards Against Humanity is funding a women in stem scholarship so it's a fully funded undergraduate tuition scholarship full ride so you don't have to you don't have to apply many times um if you get it the first time it will cater for your entire undergrad experience this is good um you apply as a high school senior so if you're in kenya that means you're a from four and you can also apply as an undergrad student. You don't have to be a US citizen or attending a United States uh, college or university, which is nice. Um, for the application, you need to upload a three minute or less video with you lecturing about a topic that you are interested in. A topic in STEM, science, tech, engineering, and math. So teach them something in under three minutes. Have fun with it. I've watched a couple of the videos done by the past winners and I think they're very interesting. Um, I will have the link in the description below so that you can check it out and also check out the videos made by past winners to see what they're looking for. I would definitely advise anyone interested in full funding <laughs> to check out the scholarship because it's definitely a huge plus. The next scholarship I'm going to talk about is a BHW scholarship. Um, it's open to women in STEM mm -hmm. and it funds undergraduate and master's degrees in STEM. So if you're an undergrad seeking to get this money, you can apply. If you're pursuing your master's degree, you can also apply. The value of the scholarship is $3,000. Um, and there's no nationality or a citizenship requirement, which is gold. <laughs> um, it's due every year on the 15th of April. That's the application. Um, and it's basically an essay. So you can write a 500 to 800 word essay on either of these topics, which is number one. Tell us your favorite app and what you like about it. Or you could write about um, a time an app played a significant role in improving your day. These sound like very interesting topics, 500 to 800 words and a possible chance of winning $3,000 to fund something in your educational journey. That's nice. Again, the, the, the info is in the description box below. Then the fourth one I'd like to talk about is the Sawise Anga Scholarship for African Women in Science and Technology. So like I said in the beginning of the video, some of these scholarships are open to African women in STEM, meaning that you are eligible to apply. But there are some of these scholarships that are tailored to African women in STEM, and this is one of them. So Sawise is association of South African women in science and engineering. But I'm, I'm quite sure math is still a science. <laughs> so the value of the scholarship is about a thousand dollars and it's catered to undergraduate women in science and, engi and engineering. I think I've already said that. And it's for studies at honors level. So equivalent to your fourth year or your senior year in college. So yeah, this is pretty good for fourth year. Um, they do specify that there's preference given to South African women, I think because it's the Association of South African Women in Science and Engineering, but I still think it's something that you should be able to apply for, you know, just, just go ahead and do it. Um, the next scholarship I'd like to talk about is the WOW 
Foundation, um, undergraduate STEM scholarships for African women. Um, it's worth $500. It's need-based and the eligible courses of costs, uh, courses in science, tech, engineering, and math. And it's awarded to students who are pursuing the higher education in Africa. The next scholarship I'd like to talk about is Faculty for the Future. I'll have the name of the funding organization on the screen because I cannot pronounce it. Um, but the funding, the, the funding organization is a nonprofit that supports science and tech. And the goal of the scholarship is to generate conditions that result in more women pursuing scientific careers by removing barriers women face when entering STEM disciplines and hence reducing the gender gap. If I can expound on the scholarship in my own words, it's a scholarship tailored to women from developing countries who are pursuing STEM degrees and would like to join um, universities in their home countries later on as STEM faculty so they can improve um, the way STEM is taught in the universities in their home countries. So if that's something that is interesting to you, you should definitely check out this type of scholarship. Um, it doesn't support master's programs or uh, bachelor's degrees. It supports PhD programs only. Um, there's no specific amount stated, but I'm sure it's a comprehensive scholarship, meaning what you need, they will provide.